Okay. Let's get let's get into it. Here we go. Trade deadline was today at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Could have been 4. Don't really remember. Um, I was too busy working, so I don't remember what time it was. But um, with that being said, we got we got some trades that came up. We got some trades that came up. So let's let's take a look. Let's look over them and see how 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 this is working out. So something that we were talking about before the season, in a sense, even started, and um, actually thinking about it, that we thought that would happen with the Pacers. Victor Oladipo, he got sent to the Heat from the Rockets. The Rockets will receive Kelly Olenek and Avery Bradley. Possibly it's a pick swap. So Oladipo would be going down there to join Jimmy Butler. Ah. Uh, also, Oladipo will be a unrestricted free agent at the end of this season. Um, how do I feel? Let's see. Oladipo came to the Pacers. He did get the Pacers some uh, some. He he helped. He helped smooth that whole Paul George is leaving thing. He helped smooth that over, and then he did a decent job of of being a man while Paul George was gone. He he did an okay job, um, but. I've always thought that he's more of a support player. He's that guy that randomly is going to give you that 25 when your main person isn't doing well. He definitely fit in very good in Indianapolis um, with the Pacers only because you just never knew who's going to be on. And at least you could look to Vic to give you 23 to 25 points a night. You know, sometimes you wouldn't get some of those games from some of those other guys. So I, 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 it's good for the Rockets because I think we know what this trade deadline was all about. Uh, bad teams trying to get a future, get their future back. Um, and good teams trying to get a little bit better, maybe push some stuff forward. But I think that this trade line was a lot about the future. And we'll talk about that when I get done with this. Uh, the Mavericks get J.J. Redick to add a little bit of um, – well, they get J.J. Redick and they get Melly from the Pelicans for uh, – what this boy is james johnson and wesley uh, at wundu no yeah wundu and some cash considerations and uh possibly in a 2021 second round pick going to new orleans i don't know which direction that new orleans is really going in right now the pelicans i'm not really sure which way what they're trying to do because i gotta be honest y'all shopping lonzo but on paper the pelicans aren't a bad team i mean you got a 30 in the night 30 30 point a night guy which we all know how i feel about uh, Brandon Ingram, we know how I feel about him. I think that Brandon Ingram is is a dog, and I believe that he's a a baby Kevin Durant. I thought that he could grow into being possibly a Kevin Durant, given his length, his shooting ability. Uh, he's smooth with the rock. I like Brandon Ingram. I didn't want him to leave. I didn't want him to leave the uh, Lakers. And honestly, the way it's looking now, as much as I loved Kuzma at the time, I'm taking Brandon Ingram be over Kyle Kuzma in that trade. So that's where I'm at. Looking back on it, I want a guy like that because. I think that Brandon Ingram, given the injuries, let me let me stop. Let me stop. I'm gonna keep it going. Let's get, let's keep going. <laughs> Warriors sent Marquise Chris to the Spurs for a the draft rights to Cody Lalane and some money. So basically, they sent Marquise Chris over there to for 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 money, and and that's what's gonna happen. In that situation, I don't know what the Warriors are planning to do with it. I believe this is his second stint with the Warriors, so they I I don't know. I don't know what the Warriors are really, in a sense, trying to do at this point, but we'll see. Uh, the Bulls got Daniel Theis from the Celtics for Mo Wagner. I don't know what the Bulls are trying to do either. Um, I I I don't know. So I'm going to just keep it moving because I'm not sure what direction they're going. I got to ask my boy Michi uh, how he feels about this, and I'll see what he, what he, what he thinks. Um the Hornets get Brad Wanamaker from the Warriors for cash. So I don't know what's going on. They're a little behind on rent or something. You know, they stimmy the income. But they're giving away people. Um, uh, uh, the Warriors the Warriors probably spent that cash and gave it back to Brad Wanamaker. I like Brad Wanamaker, but LaMelo Ball is out. And I don't know what which which direction that the Hornets are going. But, um, I mean, let's see. Where are the Hornets in – the playoff race if the hornets started today they would be the they would be the fourth seed so it's not saying a lot because the eighth seed 
is let's see is Boston at 21 and 23 and the Hornets are the fourth seed at 22 and 21 so like literally in a couple of games man the East is bad god East is bad it's very bottom it's very top heavy for sure um yeah I don't know maybe maybe Jordan is definitely trying to just push to at least get into the playoffs a little extra revenue again the the the, the uh the vaccine is out and all that and it's starting to open everything up and we already know how the north the south is you know they can't wait to open something up so uh here's a here's here's a splash in a sense um the clippers get rondo from the hawks for lou williams when i thought about it definitely rondo brings that championship pedigree and he knows how to win and i think he would go in there and it's going to go one of two ways. Either Kawhi and PG collectively, I'm going to say three ways. Ka- Kawhi and PG collectively respect Rondo or Rondo, uh, Kawhi respects Rondo, but PG ain't feeling Rondo or neither one of them are feeling Rondo and then they just fall apart in the playoffs again. But Lou Williams He's going back to the crib, and I don't think he's really complaining, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure that Lou Williams really believes in this Clippers team. I certainly – they. I, I'm looking at him. I'm like – I'm not sitting there like this team is unbeatable. The way that everybody was looking at him last year, everybody's like, oh, the Clippers, that's it. They are everything. I don't see it this year. That's just me. I don't see it, though. So, there's that. Um, But shout out to – shout out to Lemon Pepper Lou. <laughs> Go to Magic City whenever you want to. Um, the rappers got Raptors trade Terrence Davis to the Kings for a second round pick. I don't know what the Kings are really up to, and honestly, I'm not sure what the Raptors are trying to do. Are they in the playoff discussion? Absolutely not. They are not. So again, building for the future. Kyle Lowry, he was huge, uh, a, a big talking point today to see if they, the Raptors would move him. The Raptors, I think they're playing for the future at this point. So. I think get that Lowry stuff out of your mind. I mean, they're, they're the Lakers. They were like the Lakers are looking at them, blah blah blah. But nah, I don't see it. Schroeder is okay. We we can rock with Schroeder. I don't know how much better Kyle, Kyle Lowry would make the Lakers. Um, and I don't think it's time to panic quite yet in regards to LeBron and AD both being out. We can go to the playoffs as an AC and run through that thing and they'd be like oh this afc the afc won the, um the west no this is a different kind of afc that's what i'm thinking um jazz got matt thomas from the raptors for a second round pick jazz just got jazz just uh beat down on somebody the other day i think the brooklyn um i think they were trying to make a, a, a roster spot to try and push um to get kyle lowry but it didn't work out 76ers got George Hill in a three-team deal with the Knicks and the Thunder. So, um, interesting pick. George Hill uh, out of Indianapolis. Shout out to Rob Ripple. Uh, George Hill's big deal. I think he's a steady veteran that can help. I, I, I'm I, I'm intrigued about George Hill and Danny Green and that dynamic. I'm very intrigued about that. Uh, Tony Bradley and Terrence Ferguson and two future second round picks with Oklahoma City um, in this trade. So that's interesting. So the Philly was trying to get better and because we know where they're at. Their team is pretty much set in stone. So it's more about like how do we bolster what we already have. And Oklahoma City is just playing. the. They got to play the draft game. Let's just be real. Paul George is the only. No, no, no free agent has just said I'm going to Oklahoma City. So. That's just how it is. Shout out to the Pacers because that's the kind of game they need to be playing too. They, they they draft people and they do kind of develop, but they take a lot of side people that are like sidekicks, if you will, and second tier kind of players and try and make the best of what they have. And they're just a tough, scrappy team. But right now they're currently under 500. But they did make that push to get Karis LeVert and they got that game winner the other day. So um, interesting, interesting. I like I, it's it's interesting. Um. But again, Oklahoma City, they they gotta play, they gotta play chess. When it comes to drafting and getting players, if they want to be competitive, they gotta play chess when that's through the draft. It is what it is. Try and get you a young boy that say, I wanna stay here. That's really good. Have some bad years. Keep try, see if you can keep them. 
and keep them competitive. Do the best you can through the draft. Raptors got rid of Norman Powell. He got sent to the Blazers, which I think is very interesting. But the so the Raptors got Trent Jr., Gary Trent Jr., and they got uh, Rodney Hood. So I don't know if that really helps the Blazers. I think Gary Trent and Rodney Hood are actually pretty two really good players. But I guess you need a bigger body. I think there's I think the Blazers are saying they need a bigger body, but yeah. I don't know. I like Gary Trent Jr. I like him. Kings trade uh Nemenha, I have Angelica to the Heat for Mo Harkless and Chris Silva. I guess. I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the, what the Yeah, I guess. I don't I don't I don't know what I don't I don't know. Maybe that's some future stuff too. I don't I don't know about all that. Um shout out to Mo Harkless though. <laughs> shout out to Mo Hark Mo Harkless. I, I actually liked him. Um Magic send Aaron Gordon to Denver for Gary Harris and RJ Hampton. Uh Aaron Gordon, I, I, I gotta say, I mean, Aaron Gordon is a big dog. So uh Looks like Orlando out of this whole thing. They got a top five projected for 2025, 2026, and 2027. So, I mean, they've been a lottery team since they had him since 2014. And he already requested a trade. And so just Orlando just seems like they're just, just perpetually just building um, re in rebuilding mode. So, um We'll see what happens in Denver. That that's actually kind of interesting. Him and Joker, and you know, this adds some firepower. So I think that helps them. Um, the Wizards trade. Let's see. So the Bulls. Hold on, they got they get, the Wizards traded Brown and Wagner to the Bulls for Gafford Hutchinson. I don't know. The Wizards probably trying to get their future back based off of that Russell Westbrook. Um, the Magic got rid of Evan Fournier to get Jeff Teague. That's interesting. So shout out to Jeff Teague. Much love. Um, they got some draft picks behind it too. So Magic, they get it. They get a quality point guard. Shout out to Jeff Teague. He's from Indiana. Uh, shout out to him. Shout out to the A Anderson. Y'all know what time it is. And uh, shout out to you know North Central and all them. Uh, so. Again, the Magic trying to make something happen. I'm not sure why people don't want to go to Orlando. I, I think Orlando's cool I, for the most part. Um, Tax-free. But I see why you would want to go to Miami before you go to Orlando. But Orlando's not bad. It's not that bad. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, the Magic traded Vucevic and Aminu to the Bulls for uh, Carter Jr. Or Wendell, Wendell Cardinal Carter Jr. So, I mean, the, the Bulls, I think they're trying to strike. Hey, are they in the playoff conversation? Let's take a look. Um, if the playoffs started today, the Bulls are not going to the playoffs. But um, I, these are big pieces. I guess they're looking to build if they can. So uh, we'll see. Cavs get traded. JaVale McGee to the Nuggets. That's, I think that's a good pickup. I think that you can't have Joker doing everything. I, I believe that JaVale McGee needs to come out of there. And you got to have defensive spurts. And I think that JaVale McGee can give you 7 to 14 minutes of defensive spurts where you just need a stop or you need to stop. If the big man is getting busy down there, uh, it doesn't hurt to have JaVale McGee in the game. And then also he gives you second chances. So they got plenty of playmakers out there. And sometimes you just need somebody to get those offensive rebounds to give you another chance. So I I, I, I think it's a good pick for them. It's a good pick. It's, it's a good uh, trade for Denver for sure. But I can tell right now that they're all in. So we'll, we'll, Denver's all in. They are all about taking taking down the West at this point. That's what it appears. Pistons uh, not doing very much. They traded the line right to the Kings to get Corey Joseph. Corey Joseph, he was a uh, uh, standout in a sense with Toronto during those average years. Um, sure, the Pistons are probably just rebuilding and, and the Kings are – Trying to clear up space. I'm sure this is all money motivated, clearing books in the in the near future. Um, the Clippers traded uh Mifundu Kevin Gelly for cash and sit it sent them over there and gave money to the king. So there's that. And then my final news is we just got this. I just got this before I hopped on here. Uh, the Spurs bought out uh Lamarcus Aldridge. Um they bought him out for 10 mil, I think. 
Um, and actually, I think it was like five, five million. I'm not sure, but at any rate, yeah. So, so the Spurs are no longer with Lamarcus Aldridge, which means anybody can sign him at this point because they bought him out of his contract. So we'll see. A lot of trades, and, and like I said, I don't think this was something to impact this season. I think people are looking forward, and 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 that's okay. So sometimes you need to look look to the future in order to see uh, what what you really have. Now, ladies. If you're tired of being caught up in what you're getting caught up in now, and you're really ready to see what you have and take one look into the future, look no further than me. That's right. You can go on to ChristianMingle.com and look up our Swallow Me. I'll be right there, baby. Because when you're looking back, I'm right there to the front. Holla at your boy. Also, you know the deal. Every Thursday, you can catch me on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcast. I'm on all that every single Thursday and Friday to Friday. We right here on YouTube. Right here on YouTube. Um, me and rest of the overall 99 ENT fam. We're going to give y'all videos. We're going to keep on giving it to you. X going to give it to you. So, uh, I, again, appreciate y'all. Just, just again, remember to love each other. I can't say it enough. Love each other. Check on your loved ones. If somebody seems a little off, see if you can talk to them. Or get them to talk to somebody. But that's it for this week's show. Much love. I holla. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. Don't forget, every Thursday, the full podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Mama, I'm on Spotify. Overall 99 ENT bring you videos from Friday all the way to Friday. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. Again, thank you so much. I holla.